Oh, here we go. How you guys doing? Have you been uh, attending the crime night uh, videos and lives? Joe's really uh, raising the bar a little, ain't he? <laughs> oh my God. I was talking to him on the phone, I'm fortunate, yes. And uh, he said to me, he goes, man, he goes, I wish I knew now what I, uh, I knew then what I know now. He would have started at the top. How can you have, have started at the top? He didn't know. I was trying to convince him that all of this corruption starts at the top. Uh, often I'll post something from uh, Johnny 5 the fish stinks from the head down. Well, I've been feeding Joe as much information as I possibly can. Uh, and I know I'm not his only source, so he gets a lot of information. And uh, he tries to make sure we get it all the best that he can present it. He's really into the clean production type of stuff. Uh, so, uh, foot doctor yesterday got some little stuff taken care of it very makes a big difference in my ability to walk so that 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 worked out good as far as the rest of the stuff it's nothing but depressing uh, I just sent Joe uh, a link to I think it's six cops uh, we're pleading guilty to torturing, uh, a couple of black guys torturing, the real thing, they're not, not, and, and maybe he'll put that up, I'll, I'll try and leave it in the, uh, information thing, and you'll see that, that that's what these cops do, and then the chief of police will get up on, on uh, you know, in front of a camera and say, oh, no. No, our cops are all good cops. No, they're wonderful. No, they're not. They're not. They're members of multiple secret societies. This 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 whole blue line gang thing. This this uh, Masonic. Uh, don't tell on anybody. All of these secret hand signs. Judges, lawyers. Politicians all involved in that. So they're not about to tell you the truth about anything. They want your money. They want your money. And they want your children's money. And then they want your children's children's money. So that's their agenda. To, to make sure you got nothing. While, while, while they are all living in the lap of luxury. Don't kid yourselves. Cops make a good, uh, a good uh, buck. And that's all coming from the taxpayers. Politicians make a good buck. Guess who pays for that? The citizens. And yet you try and say that to a cop. And hopefully you won't get what those uh, guys from Mississippi got. They're lucky they're alive. They're, they're lucky they are alive. And what are the sentences that these crybaby cops get? Huh? What kind of sentences do they get? Two weeks suspension paid. Two weeks paid suspension. Uh, I don't know the outcome of that one, but that's the stuff you see. Cop runs over somebody while they're drunk, kills somebody. They do, I don't know, a couple months in jail, and that's it. And that's it. And I already talked. Uh, one of the uh, crimes that took place in this area, right up the street from here, straight up the street from here. 
Officer Jake Pescucci ran that woman down in the street while he was drunk, hit her so hard, took her out of her shoes, and killed her. Well, her husband was fighting a long battle uh, with cancer, and uh, I just heard from John that uh, he uh, succumbed to his... Uh, illness so I talked to uh, the mayor about this about the bad cops in this area the mayor's name is Pallone I think I, that's another career politician uh, crime family Pallone's when I talked to him about that specific case where Officer Pascucci drunkenly murdered that woman. He murdered her. He was drunk. He's a cop. And I can't say they're supposed to know better because when cops get on the stage, you find out they know absolutely nothing. I don't know. I don't know. But Mayor Pallone's take was, well... You know, at least uh, Officer Pescucci is out of there now. No sympathy. No sympathy for the victims. None whatsoever. Zero sympathy for the victims. At least he's out of there now. I'm telling you, we're going through some heavy changes here in this country. The borders mean nothing. <laughs> The Constitution means nothing. We are winning in little little bursts here and there. Oh, where these cops are being caught. And, and that that's not because the cops are out there uh, patrolling and doing their thing. It's because citizen journalists with cell phones and cameras are out there risking their lives photographing these cops because rather rather than face suspension they'll kill you they will kill you and that's that's they're, they're proud of that now, now they got some bodies on their jacket, you know, some notches on their belt. Oh, how, how many bodies you got? Oh, I killed three people. I tend to believe that's why some people join the force. I tend to believe that's why quite a few people join the military so that they could uh, experience uh, taking the life of the biggest, most dangerous game on this planet. Another human. But they're not looking for the big game. They're looking for the women and children to, to shoot and maim and mangle. They're looking for the people that are paying their wages so that they could shoot and mangle them and belittle them. That's what they're looking for. So, uh, New Jersey Exposed brought this up a long time ago. He, he was first on this, as far as I know, that we shouldn't be hiring from the military. Why, they're already trained? Yeah, sure. What are they trained to do? Kill, destroy, blow up, mangle, maim. That's it. Scorched earth. That's what they're trained in, scorched earth. They're, they're, they're trained to lie. And they always, oh, never leave a man behind, uh, and another brother behind. Yeah. You believe that if you want. So, uh, well, it's cold out. It's 10 degrees above freezing. And, and, 
and no shortage of uh, loud, rude tourists down here. No shortage. So, uh, I have a good time on uh, Joe's Crime Nights site. So happy and proud that uh, he made me a moderator. Uh, it really means something to me. I take that seriously. So if you're thinking about coming over there and trolling, listen, there's more than me hanging out in there. And some of the times, you're not even going to see the moderators in there. Some of them are sitting down, doing whatever they're doing, doing whatever chores they got to do, and they got to play in the background. And you can get booted by one of them as well. Plus, when you have such hot topic sites like Crime Night, you get a lot of attention from places you don't want attention from. Uh, uh, people with uh, problems, mental problems. And... Uh, you really don't know where to go with that. I mean, they could be telling the truth, and this could all be a fabrication in their minds. And uh, my suggestion is you have to, if you have problems like that, you got to get yourself involved with a social worker, psychologist, and you got to be vigilant with that because it's not going to happen all at once. And I got my share of horror stories about these corrupt, thieving, lying, uh, wacky, mental case social workers. And I mean mental cases. I mean mental cases. Like the, the woman that uh, burglarized my apartment. And uh, she has all the backing she needs from declarations, her organization. They file false police report, kick your door in, make you disappear, make your property disappear, and you got nothing. You got nothing to say about it. Cops won't do a thing because they see suffering and they like that. They see somebody getting hurt. Cops must have had terrible, terrible Parents, terrible childhoods, ter terrible, all terrible experiences where they think that that's a good thing. People suffering and they just sit there and giggle and pee on themselves because that's, that's not only the way I see law enforcement. A lot of people are waking up. So if you see something say something uh, when you get over to crime night or if they, you know you're here you want to drop a comment i'd appreciate it uh i try and get back to you i could use the support i'm four people away from 400 subs <laughs> joe's got a lot more than that joe's got it's getting close to 3,000. Pretty cool. So, and again, it's not about the subs. It's about getting the word out. So, Joe's trying to get the word out. And he puts the time in. Look, look at what happened the other night. He puts up his live, and then a couple more things occur to him. And he throws up a little attachment to that. Uh, within the hour. So he's working. He's, he's, he's not letting anything go by. That's Joe. I can only do so much. This isn't my uh, specialty, video things. You see, every one of my videos is just cut and paste. That's it. That's it. And, uh... If it weren't for you people, I'd have nobody to talk to or 
I would have probably never met Joe. Or Mega Woods Walker, the late Mega Woods Walker. So, these people got to stay vigilant. I believe it's going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, so many, so many dark, dark uh, forces involved in what's going on today. I wonder what connection Indiana has to uh, George Soros. I wonder what connection they have to him. He's supposed to be like some kind of mega manipulator tyrant. Let's see if these guys let me cross the road. I got by. Good show. Boy, 40 something degrees. My hands are freezing. And I got a uh, little electric hand warmers in my pocket. My hands are still cold. So, what's this? Looks like the shell of a mirror. I used to live in a room full of mirrors. All I could see was me. Check that out, Jimi Hendrix, a room full of mirrors. Good song. Oh, boy. So, I'll head up here while I can walk and uh, grab myself a sandwich for dinner and upload this video and please if you can hit the thumbs up like i said i'm four short of a thousand i think it's four 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 subs short of a thousand i'd really be happy with that to get that oh i know i know it's boring hearing the same old thing but you know, it's gonna be the same old thing until we got some new stuff. Like more cops going to prison. More cops being held accountable for the homicides, for the thefts, for the child abuse. You're gonna hear the same old thing. So, if you can, get your dog or cat to sign up. Hit the, uh, uh, subscribe thing for more I'm at uh, 400 so I don't think that's asking for too much and there is the beach that I went on to ask how the fishing was and everybody got a bug up their butt because I wanted to know how the fishing was cops and people with, with those shirts with little badges and braided they're so hard up to make somebody's life miserable and show you all the power they have. And they wouldn't have that power if it wasn't for the taxpayer dollar. So, and they don't appreciate that. They're sovereign citizens. They don't have to abide by any laws. They're sovereigns. They're above it, like the Masons. And the FOP, Fraternal Order of Police. Yeah, none of you are heroes. Not one of you. You're cowards. You're cowards. You waited till I was in a wheelchair before you started. And that's D Officer D. Page. Waited till I was in a wheelchair before she started threatening me. Both of my legs wrapped up to my hips in ace bandages, and she's telling me to get out of the wheelchair in the emergency room, in the emergency room. That's Officer D. Page, Long Branch Police, home of drunken Jake Pescucci, drunken killer of women, but he's out right now. He's enjoying his life. He's married. He's doing good. He's, he's happy. 
course he you know the toll he took was not only did he kill that woman but she took he she, he took every bit of hope out of her husband's heart after a long fight with cancer that's that's what these cops do and it gets worse it gets worse and you've got these cops taking pictures of children we got these cops manufacturing drugs. We got these cops smuggling guns and contraband into prisons. It's crazy. Citizens, we have to take back control. We have to take back control. And we're stuck with we we have to abide by the law. Sovereign citizens, cops, lawyers, judges, masons, whoever the heck they are, laws don't apply to them. So they can do anything they want and get away with it. I'm going to let you guys get going. I'm almost at my place to get my sandwich. And uh, hopefully you'll hit the thumbs up and somehow scratch me up four more uh, subscribers. Thank you.